Hey guys, this is Jordan and Jeff from bestpricenutrition.com. Today we're here to talk about high tech pharmaceuticals creatine monohydrate. You may be asking, why are we doing another video on creatine? It's been around for like 40 years. Yep. It's been around for a while. It's probably Multiple been studies. One of the first songs. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Um, the reason we're talking about this one is because you may have seen in the news lately a lot of companies. Um, whether it be powders, liquids, gummies especially, um, coming out where they have stated they have so much creatine in the product, but then when, God, who was, who did, No Foods? Did no Foods. No Foods did a test, yep. And they went after a lot of these companies and tested their products, and they were coming out to show dramatically less creatine than was actually stated on the product. Yep. So um, this is why we kind of wanted to discuss high-tech pharmaceuticals because they are actually HPLC verified. Mm -hmm. And you may be wondering what, wondering what the hell is that. So that stands for High Performance Liquid Chromatography Verification. Um, this is a third party that actually tests the products that High Tech Pharmaceuticals is making. Um, this will ensure that like this product, you're getting five grams of creatine monohydrate mm -hmm. that you're actually getting what they're talking about here and you know, because you never know these days. No, I mean, you know, especially with Amazon. I mean, <laughs> all these Amazon brands. Yeah. Well, I mean, not Amazon specific brands, but these brands selling on Amazon. Yeah. Anybody who's anybody can throw a powder in a tub and yep. call it creatine, but it may not actually be creatine. So yeah, definitely having that HPLC certification. I mean, that is the best thing that you could look for in a product. Yeah, and and, and to Amazon, you know, they just did come out recently and said they're going to start requiring tests like this. Mm -hmm. So high tech is already uh, verified here, but we'll kind of give you an idea of what this verification covers. So I'll do the first one, you can continue with the second. Yeah. So the first thing is the purity verification. So identification of ingredients. So um, HPLC accurately identifies and quantifies the active ingredients in the supplement. This ensures that the supplement contains exactly what's listed on the label, just like what I talked about before. It also, which is nice, it detects any kind of contaminants. So it looks for contaminants and impurities um, in the product to make sure that it's free of any harmful substances. I mean, you're ingesting this. Yeah. I don't you want anything your body. that, you know, <laughs> is something weird that's in this bottle. Yeah. What's next? And then we have the potency confirmation, which basically just tests the accurate dosage. So if it says five grams per scoop on here, that's what they're testing for. They want to test and see, is this scoop five grams? Because I mean, that could be for anything. That could be, you know, like a stimulant. I mean, it, yeah. something like that. Yep. It could be too much or too little, and it could, you know, could cause harmful side effects. So they do that test just to say, okay, this scoop has five grams. We want to make sure this scoop actually has five grams of creatine monohydrate. And if it passes, then you know, they'll check yep. that box off. All right. Next is consistency and quality control. So this is a big one too, batch to batch. Because mm -hmm. one company could get one batch tested, and they're like, hey, we're good and they never get anything else tested again. Right. So they have this batch to batch consistent, consistency um, to make sure each batch lives up to what says on the label. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's what a lot of the creatine gummy companies said too, it was a bad batch. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. So, so you're not gonna get that with this, right. yes, exactly. Um, manufacturing standards, they make sure that the, you know, all the testing and all the ingredients um, adhere to high manufacturing um, standards, you know, mm -hmm. um, a lot of products are made right down in Georgia yep. with high-tech pharmaceuticals, so um, that's another um, good thing about the HPLC verification. Yeah, and then we have the next step, which is the safety assurance, which is, I mean, essentially is they're testing for toxic compounds. Um, obviously, pesticides, you know, heavy metals, None of us want to adjust that. So that's what this step has done, is to test any of these products to see if there's any pesticides, heavy metals, so they can remove them for the product. Because um, again, I, I'm not looking to put pesticides in my body, and I'm sure you are too. So that's definitely a good safety measure. Um, it's also, you know, the regulatory compliance, which is the HPLC verification that helps manufacturers comply with what's allowed um, and what's, you know, in the requirements that are set by health authorities. Okay. Yeah, and, and um, number five really doesn't matter, but number six, again, is supporting scientific claims, so they want to make sure there's nothing on the label that doesn't support what the product does. Mm -hmm. 
and um, again, just the formula formulation accuracy um, ensures that the, the the dosage of the product is that they're saying is on there delivers the health benefits that are stated on the product. Um, but overall, I mean, just having this, it's gonna gives you more trust in the product. Of course, you know, yeah. and you know, we're big fans of high tech pharmaceuticals here. We like that they do this kind of third party testing. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, so yeah. So overall. Again, you know, I know this is another creatine monohydrate video, mm -hmm. but it's, you know, you gotta be careful with what you're ingesting out there, what yeah. creatines you're buying out there. Um, so if you really do want a great creatine product that is the monohydrate that you know you're getting what's in the product, high tech pharmaceuticals is definitely the one that we would recommend. Absolutely. So. So guys, if you have any questions about creatine in general or this verification, um, please post them down below. Jordan and I and John are always here to answer those questions. If you enjoyed this video and like this information, give us those thumbs up. Well, lastly, um, if you want more videos like this, just hit that little button to subscribe and you'll get those. Thanks for watching, guys.